Hi, it's Chester Togwa from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the NA error, uh, why it occurs in Excel and how you can deal with it. Now, the probably the most common reason uh, an NA error would come up in your spreadsheet is where you're using uh, a VLOOKUP function. Um, we can use a VLOOKUP function two ways. We can do an exact match and approximate match. And the reasons why the NA error would appear are different for those different types of VLOOKUP. Let's just start with an exact match. What I want to be able to do is look up this product code to return this price in this cell here. So I'm actually going to start with this one. So what I'm going to say is uh, equals VLOOKUP. Looking up that value in the table array. Well, that's the lookup table. And returning values in the second column. final argument asked me to specify where we're, whether we're doing an exact match or an approximate match. This is an exact match. We're looking at product codes. So this has got to exactly match this. Whereas an approximate match, as you can see over here, is where you might, for example, have kind of thresholds for discounts. So between 10 and 24 items, uh, if you order that amount, you get a 3% discount. If you order between 25 and 49, get 5% discount. Now what I could have done is literally uh, listed 0 to 100 in, uh, down here in this column and then put 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, etc. up to 10 and then between 10, 24, 10 and 24 put 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5 percent. but that would just be a horrendous amount, uh, uh, a horrendous amount of work. So what we can do is put them in ranges and we have to then specify that we are using an approximate match. So for this one, we are using an exact match. So um, I've done that, and lo and behold, it's found that value here and returned the correct price um, over here. And then over here, I've got a little formula that works out the total. This times this. OK, so that's fine. Now, if I put in something that didn't appear in our lookup table, this is where we start to get this hash n slash a uh, error. Basically saying this value cannot be found in the first column of my lookup table. Now, that's a really obvious example. Let's do the one above and see if it can find this value. Now, it looks as though it should because we have this value here with the yellow background and this value here and they look exactly the same. So I want to look up that value in the same table um, returning values from column 2 and I'm doing an exact match. But look I get the same error. Okay, Well now that's a bit bizarre because I can quite clearly see that that value is there, it is within the lookup table, so why would I get that error? Well, the error is a little bit difficult to spot because it's invisible. It's not until I click up into the formula bar that you can maybe see where the problem is. What I've got is a space after the string of characters. Now that space is not included in this version of the product code. So an exact match cannot be found. Now, uh, a classic way to get around that is to use what's called the trim function. The trim function removes spaces from um, your your text or your string. So it would remove leading spaces, spaces at the beginning, trailing spaces, spaces at the end, or more than one consecutive space between characters within the middle of your text. So it would deal with that situation, but it would also deal with a situation where you had a space before the text. Now just to prove that that works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say rather than looking up D4, look up a trim of D4. And it does indeed find it. Even if I put some spaces there, it still finds it because it's just uh, the trim will remove um, the extra spaces there, there and at the end. And has it picked up the right unit price? Yes, it has. So that's how to get round the uh, NA error uh, where you have an exact match. 
or it may be in fact that for example on this one the b b b b b b well it isn't there no matter how far we trim or do anything else with it that lich that product code cannot be found there so what you could do rather than showing this horrible error is use something called if error if error is very easy to use what i would do is once i've typed in my vlookup i would put if error at the beginning open bracket now you can see that if error has two arguments value that's the thing the formula or uh, the calculation or whatever that you're performing to see whether it returns an error so that's our vlookup in this case and then the second argument is what you want to return if an error is returned so in this example I might say not found so rather than returning um, that horrible error message I've now got a sensible bit of information it can't be found but if I type in an actual um, well let's type in the one that was there HE um, 637 um, it will return the uh, correct price so the if error doesn't get in the way of the functionality of the VLOOKUP but what it will do is say if the VLOOKUP returns an error return this not found instead of the error so let's go on and look how the NA error may occur when you're using an approximate match and it'll be for different reasons now what we're going to do is we're going to say look up this per number purchase this figure here in this column here to return the correct discount so what we're saying is look up I want to look up this value in this table returning values from the second column but when we get to the final argument this time we're not doing an exact match we're doing an approximate match because we're saying 11 is found in the range 10 to 24 11 doesn't appear there at all if we did uh, an exact match because it isn't there it would return NA as we saw over here but we want to do not an exact match but we want to do an approximate match so I'm choosing true well actually I don't need to put true in it does work if I put true but true is actually assumed so I can actually leave it out and it will work just fine now what have I done here uh, I've also deleted the call index number so I need to put that back in but yeah you can see that it's returned the correct discount now why would this not work well if I put in a value of 9 I get NA now why would 9 return uh, this not found error well because it's lower than the lowest value in my column uh, my lookup column now you must always have uh, when you're using an approximate match you must always have these figures in ascending order so if I wanted 9 to return 0 what I would need to do is put a 0 here and then 0% Now what I'd have to do is say, actually, uh, my lookup table is from J4 to K8 now, so I'll just change that. You can see it now returns that 0%. But without that, 9 is outside the lowest range that I've specified here. The other thing that would be important would be that you do list this in ascending order. So, for example, if I put 11 there, it's going to return NA again because... Um, it can't the range has not been properly specified 0 to 10 so always make sure these are in ascending order and that the figure that you're looking up is greater than or equal to the lowest figure you've entered into your lookup column okay so two main examples there of why the NA error may appear when you're using any of the lookup functions including VLOOKUP HLOOKUP and MATCH okay thanks for listening